Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, gymnastics. We've taken three people from Norfolk who've never tried CrossFit before and put them through the physical challenge of their lifetime. In a generation where perfecting your physique is an art form, could they start to shape up in just four weeks? 38-year-old children's author Alexander Gordon-Smith struggles to put himself in the shoes of his characters. I write books about very active people. I think that's part of the problem as well. I mean, I, I, I write action horror stories. And the series I'm best known for is called Escape from Furnace, about a 14-year-old boy who has to escape a prison full of monsters, basically. And the things he has to do in that series, I mean, he's running, you know, through the prisons, he's running through tunnels, he's scaling, you know, mile-high high walls. Everything he does is a, you know, a feat of physical endurance. Part of the problem is, you know, I, I sit here and, you know, I'm typing away and in my head I'm with them, you know, uh, because they are kind of based on me, especially Alex from the Furnace series. He's based on me, he's based on me when I was a teenager, when I was a lot fitter uh, and, and healthier than I am now. And it's quite exhausting writing, it's quite an intensive mental process. Not a physical one at all, but mentally, definitely. 16 stone 12 is huge for me. I think the heaviest I've ever been in my life was 17 stone 1. So that makes me three pounds off my top weight, uh, which is pretty depressing actually. Yeah, so a lot to do, a lot of progress to be made, um, a lot of potential to lose weight. I just need to absolutely do it. So 16 stone 12, 16 stone 12, that's just embarrassing. So I've got three daughters, I've got Lucy, I've got Avalon and Elsie. Uh, at the moment I struggle just walking down the street with them because they, you know, they are active and they are fit and they're all over the place and, um, and yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm letting them down a bit. You know, I do find myself chasing after them quite a lot and we do go for a lot of walks. The two pugs, so they don't really need much chasing after and it's a bit embarrassing really that the pugs can't outrun me and uh, of course you can't go on a walk around the broad without uh, rewarding yourself with at least two sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. My name is Margie Bullock and I'm 72 years young. Grandma Margie is a pillar of her community, frequently fundraising for local projects. I'm the raffle queen, if you like, and I also do name the teddy. Oh, and not to mention a sprint triathlon. I did the triathlon and, and the atmosphere there and the athletes and the triathletes were just wonderful. Oh, and these are my medals and my cup that I won. This is the cup that I won um, for coming first in my age group. And that sounds really good, doesn't it? But being as there was nobody else in my age group, I can't, I can't really claim too much of fame. I think since doing that, it, it's sort of made me more confident. I feel a bit invincible. I can, I can do anything. My day is quite good because I am retired, so I can start the day with breakfast in bed. Bobby is the one that brings me breakfast in bed every morning, bakes my bread, is always there to listen to me, and I mean listen because he doesn't answer. Oh, I love him. <laughs> now this is why I have to be as strong and as fit as possible. As well as regularly volunteering at her local preschool, Margie spends a lot of time with her young grandchildren. She's hoping upping her fitness will help her keep up with the kids. The preschool will ask me to go in and I go in and play with the children. It's my beard again. That's Bob's beard. That's Bob's beard. That's the colour of Bob's beard, isn't it? It's a lovely it's a lovely job and I and it's it's just when they have an emergency. So it's really nice. And the, the preschool children all know me and so as I walk through the door it's uh, Margie, Margie, Margie and I love that. 
Army veteran and soon-to-be dad of two, Chris, wants to set a good example for his kids. I joined the army when I was 16 years old. Um, it was, it was different for me. It was something that I didn't, I didn't want to go carry on into education. I did the first couple of weeks at college um, after leaving school and just thought, no, this, this isn't for me. And as I was a cadet sort of growing up, I thought, right, let's, let's go and give the army a go. And uh, it's probably some of the best, best years of my life. Five years of lots of good fun, let's say. <laughs> and a lot of ex-service guys, they don't take the transition too well. <sighs> it is very different. Spent time all over the world. Uh, my unit, we used to do sort of Arctic warfare as well, so we do a lot of time in, in Norway, a lot of skiing with big weight on the back and very physically demanding job. And it's something that I miss quite, quite heavily, well, that, that aspect of my life now, sitting at a desk all day. One of my, I guess my, one of my biggest regrets in life was actually leaving the forces because other areas of my life have gone downhill since, like um, in particular my fitness, my, um, some of my motivation in the day has, has taken a hit just from not having the sort of camaraderie around me. Chris and wife Vicky are just weeks away from welcoming their second son, and Chris is determined to change his lifestyle to set a good example to their children. This is my boy Shadow. We love to come and have a little play with the sticks, don't we? Oh, yeah, he's killed that one. <laughs> this is my day-to-day -day activity, really. I mean, um, it's, it's harder to... Uh, to get out and do much more when you spend eight to nine hours a day sort of behind the desk. You know, you want to just get home and have your dinner and sit with your kids and your dogs and enjoy life. But this is, as I say, this is about as far as it gets. Chris had a health scare when he was told if he didn't slim down, he'd be facing the risk of type two diabetes. Last year, I, I, I got really big, like very, very big. Um, I was upwards of 24 stone this time last year and I've managed to get myself down to 20 stone now. But, you know, even five years ago when I was only 15, 14, 15 stone and, you know, very physically fit, the, the doctors have basically said, you know, do something about it now or you're going to have problems in the future. Having a dad to sort of look up to who's physically fit and can run around and play with them is, is important. And yeah, uh, that's where I'm hoping this will give me the help and the push to sort my, help my boys later on in life. Isn't that right, baby? So, who's the man tasked with attempting to get our terrific trio in shape? Meet Dave Smith, head trainer at CrossFit Spitfire. CrossFit is uh, an American strength and conditioning program that came across to the UK about 10 years ago or so. And basically it's constantly varied functional movement carried out at high intensity. And it explores the sports of powerlifting, Olympic lifting, gymnastics, and normal metabolic conditioning. So things like running and rowing and biking, stuff like that. And it's all these wonderful different movements that we can program for people, scale all of them as well, put them into the mix and a wonderful programming routine and challenge them every single day. I think the biggest challenges they're gonna face is going to be mobilizing themselves, getting to safe positions in the movements, which is what we're here to do. We're here to help and challenge them uh, to do that. Um, the biggest challenges I think will be the aching afterwards as well, another thing which is quite normal for new people because you're moving your body in different ways or perhaps you've not used your body in that way for quite some time. So I think that will, that will challenge them quite a lot. Um, but remembering that it's not about the weight that you lift or anything like that, it's about how well you move. So the biggest challenge will be moving well, but hopefully they'll, they'll, I'm sure they will surprise themselves a lot. What am I hoping to get out of these four weeks? I think, um, I know a six pack is probably a bit too much to aim for in four weeks. I know I'm not gonna come out of, you know, in four weeks time uh, looking like The Rock. <laughs> it's probably the, the person I would most like to look like. You know, I've tried going to the gym on my own and it's, it's not the same. You know, you, you're there on your own just, doing what you can and for me that's not what motivates me I guess it's what you know having other people around me doing the same thing um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this really does get me get me into it for the next well for the foreseeable future anyway ready 
I want to beat my personal best in my sprint triathlon and the only way I can do that is by getting stronger and more confident. It's not going to be an easy journey. Oh, I didn't like using that word. <laughs> journey. Bring it on. Coming up. Not good. Not good. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, of course. This was hard. my birthday and more importantly it's the first day of CrossFit. So today's today, um, starting the challenge. I'm, well I was uh, really looking forward to it until yesterday when I woke up with the world's worst cold. Uh, it took me a while to get ready this morning because I couldn't find one train, I think the baby had run off with it and um, I, hadn't even got, I couldn't even find a bottle of drink or anything, I was totally underprepared. So in the end I um, I had to borrow my daughter's troll bottle. This week is going to be a very, very busy week for me. So, in order to help me, I've made a cauldron of soup, which I'm about to liquidise. So, it's day one of the challenge and the candidates are up and ready for their first CrossFit Foundation session. I think the candidates will do very well, but I think it will be a bit of an eye-opener for them as well. Um, I think they will certainly learn a lot from their first session and certainly going forward from there. Um, and it does take a bit of time to process these new movements, um, which is why we always encourage people to do foundations you know, as early as possible to get up to speed. So I think they'll be tired, um, but hopefully a big smile on their faces. Well, this is it, we're here. There's no turning back. Hold your horses, Margie. Maybe you should have a look at what you're getting yourself into first. Yeah. More at ease. You get to get started now. Right, I don't really want to get going now. Okay, yeah. then maybe Dave can scare them a little bit. Right, guys. Okay, well, obviously, welcome along. And this is the first of three of the foundation sessions that you're going to look at. We're looking at squats, first of all. We're going to look at some presses as well later, but we'll start with just the basic squat. The squat is one of the most important movements to get right. But first, I need you to get a little bit warmer. All right, so I'm going to introduce you to the assault bikes. I think everyone will love Margie. She'll serve as an inspiration to actually a lot of people here. You can't ask for more than that. I'd like to introduce you to, to Hannah, Hannah Phillips. Um, she's one of the Spitfire coaches here. A fantastic all-round coach, very good at Olympic lifting and a fantastic athlete as well. We're now going to look at the basics of the squat and the air squat. If I can get Hannah to demo for me, that would be fantastic. The trick is to try and keep that chest up as much as you can. The point of that is to protect the back, the lower lumbar curve, okay? And to help with that, you can raise the arms as you squat as well. I got into CrossFit um, about five, six years ago. Um, I was actually training at a normal conventional gym at the time. And one of the coaches there that uh, used to run circuit classes, and I used to be uh, part of that, showed me a little bit of CrossFit at the time. And all of a sudden, I was hooked straight away. We started to learn all the barbell movements. I had a bit of a gymnastic background before anyway. Um, and even prior to that, I had a competitive background as a track and field athlete. So I was a sprinter, a hurdler. From my background in the military as well, I did a lot of different work with different people um, doing strength and conditioning programs as well. So for me, I was at this point where I was a little bit bored in my normal gym routine. This guy came over, said, this is CrossFit, this is what it's about. Fancy a go, and I haven't looked back since from there, and now it's come to this, basically. So I've got a lot to thank that guy for, if I'm honest. I'm not sure thank is the right word. So now we're going to do the back squat. That's a much nicer move, isn't it? 
Yeah. I love the back squad. I think Chris will benefit a lot. Having had a little bit of a background with this before, uh, from his military experience as well, I think that will help him, not necessarily give him a head start, but I think he'll have the right mindset to progress and extract the most out of this. Because I think he'll have a good understanding of it to start with. Um, but yeah, I think again, he'll do very well. Um, you just got to stick with it. <laughs> head back, head forward, head back, head forward. But the whole idea of this is that they, they can self-diagnose when they're moving poorly so they can actually help fix that and obviously coaches will help with that too. But I think right now they're moving really well, which is fantastic. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's still horrible. Gordon, he's such a quite a character. I think he'll actually get on really well, and I think his strength will be integrating with the rest of the class. I think he'll stick with it because you'll see the benefits quite quickly. Uh, given where he's at, he's fully aware of his limitations, but he'll very quickly see the benefits that he can get from this. But it will be quite a journey for him. <laughs> oh, that's hard work. <laughs> oh, Margie, that's moving really well. That's really good. I like that one. That was good. I can do that. Thank God. <laughs> that was really nice, not too heavy, and I could do it. I did five, and I'll do you another five. <laughs> so, how are our team coping so far? I, I love it. I, I, I'm not a big fan of cardio, and I always was attracted by the idea of weights, and this seems perfect. I feel kind of weirdly tight. I think it's probably my muscles <laughs> contracting in horrible ways, but I feel better even after the even after that. So yeah, I think it's great. I, think... I feel a lot better now. Now I'm starting to learn what it is we've got to do moving forward. A lot more confidence, and I can't wait to come in and try a proper class probably tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> hmm. Maybe see how your muscles feel tomorrow first, Chris. Well done there guys, that was a fantastic session, well done. You're all moving really well and the important thing is that you saw improvement in your movement as well. So remember that, lock that in and obviously we'll use that in classes as well. So next time you're back in, it can either be for class or indeed the next foundations and I'll talk to you about how that's going to work in a minute. But I'd like to say well done, hope you enjoyed it and it was awesome to meet you and see you. See you next time. Well personally I've thoroughly enjoyed it, obviously I always do, but these guys I think they've learned quite a lot today, um, which has been good. The idea was to make sure they do foundations first before a class. Obviously, that's important. I think they're going to benefit a lot from this. I can see already. They're starting to think. They're starting to learn more about the movement and themselves as well. The idea being is obviously they get, they get hooked on it. They think, actually, yeah, I can do this. And I think they can already see that as well. And obviously, having Margie, having um, counting the reps and stuff is such an amazing character. But they're all lovely people. So I think, yeah, it's day one of many, hopefully. And I can see the benefits, I think, already. So it's brilliant. It's a privilege to have them along. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like, you know, even though we might not have done much in the terms of weights today, in terms of lifting, the physical kind of actions of learning the moves has been uh, been incredible and uh, you know it, it feels like the first the first day of something new and you know they always say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a, a single step and I feel like this is it this is the single step so coming back tomorrow and um, yeah I'm looking forward to it I feel good so Gordon's feeling good now but what about after a full CrossFit session oh my god oh MG I really enjoyed yesterday, I really enjoyed the foundation course and I thought, well, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give a class a go. I don't think I've ever been so exhausted in my life. It was extraordinarily difficult. It was a bit of a rude awakening actually because um, I think because yesterday was quite gentle, they went easy on us and it was all about technique. Today was about physical exhaustion and I think my burpee was... Not quite a burpee. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what my burpee was actually. <laughs> Let's call it a gaudy, um, an inferior burpee. Hi, good evening. Um, so I've just finished my first ever full CrossFit class after our uh, fundamental session. My God, that hurt. I think we finished about 15 minutes ago. I'm still out of breath and I'm really struggling to hold my phone uh, up in the air just so I can make this video. My hands are shaking. I'm having to rest my hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in and doing it again. I hope you're going to try and come back and do, do another one of those classes in the next couple of days as, as long as I can actually feel my arms. That was an hour of constantly working your arms. Wow. So if that's how the boys are feeling, surely Margie must be shattered. My hula hoop out since I started CrossFit. Still feeling a bit naughty, but it still works. I can still do it. 
And I still enjoy doing it. Look at that, trim. Look at that trim little tummy after all the crossfit. Maybe not. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Come on, I can do this. So, that's their first taste of crossfit. Time to knuckle down and start throwing themselves into those classes. Okay, three, two, one, and go! With week one coming to a close, how have the team found their new regime? Um, I think the first thing I want to mention is pain. Just out with the dogs at the moment and I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling to do more than a shuffle. This morning I was still um, aching. Can I, you know, I, I get to the point where I think, oh, can I do this? Am I strong enough? Am I, you know, am I too old for this? The pain I was in, he said, is it sore or is it painful? And I thought, well, What's he talking about? What is he talking about? It just hurts. Words don't describe. I, I think definitely today is going to have to be a rest day. I'm going to try and go four times next week, uh, plus to a couple of foundations, really get back in the spirit of it. I think this, I, you know, I've been quite impressed with myself this first week. Um, I really have made an effort and I think I lost a pound. <laughs> so I kind of, I don't know, kind of feeling a bit, a bit, demoralised by the whole thing. I can definitely see uh, you know, an inch off the trails as the, uh, the scales have started to move in the opposite direction as well. That's it. Bye. Coming up. My pulse is going about 300 beats per minute. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one, and go. The squat is one of the most important movements to get right. We've taken three people from Norfolk who've never tried CrossFit before and put them through the physical challenge of their lifetime. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so exhausted in my life. Oh my God, that hurt. Head back, head forward. Something goes a little wrong. You can go ahead and bring it in. It just hurts. It's hard work. It's week two of the CrossFit Challenge and the candidates are hitting the gym as often as possible. Despite wife Vicky being heavily pregnant, Chris is managing to make it almost every day. He initially signed up for the challenge after being told last year he was at risk of diabetes. Chris met with Dr Matt Pickover to talk about his concerns and find out what he can do to make sure his future is a healthy one. So diabetes is a disease of handling of glucose within the blood and there are two types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. There are a few more other rarer forms but perhaps the commonest one that we come into contact with as doctors and as people is type 2 diabetes. Um, I've started trying to get fit about six or seven months ago, um, get fit and lose weight. I um, went for a surgical procedure, doctors picked up, I had um, slightly high blood sugar, um, just given the sort of I'm pre-diabetic. Pre um, so I signed up to do this, this CrossFit challenge, yeah. um, hopefully helping to push me to that next level to take mm. it, get back to where I was in my past and um, improve my health so that I'm there for, for my kids in a few years time, basically. When you have children, everything changes. Your attitude to life and the world and your sense of, of where you are and where you belong in it and, and you, you, even something quite soppy, dare I say, like your, the concept of love. You know when your children are born that you love them without any conditions. You want to be able to do things with your children. You don't want to be the guy stood on the sidelines complaining of backache. An investment in your health is not just an investment for you, but it's an investment for all of those around you. Prevention is definitely better than cure, but you know what? It's really hard to realise that sometimes. The challenge is well and truly underway. It's a really good workout because 
it was within my capabilities and I sweated lots and I did lots of different things. I don't like just lifting weights because that's boring. Myself, I, mean, I, got, I got through to the clusters which was the second to last one. I just had the final set of skipping and whatever the last, I, I can't even remember, I'm that far gone. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. And a skipping, how hard is that skipping? I mean, oh, horrendous. I kept whipping myself Stuff in the head. I know, I've got a bruise around the back of my neck somewhere. <laughs> Um, I think I've got one on my right hand too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. 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 My wife's going to be wondering what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished that quick 30 second chat. me, that was hideous. Um, halfway through the third round, I managed to deadlift about 70 kilos for 48 reps, which soon two weeks ago I was struggling on 60 to do 50. I struggled today to be fair, but wow, that was hard. Amazingly, it seems that throwing herself into sessions of high-intensity CrossFit isn't enough for our Margie. She's still making time to attend her weekly Zumba Strong class with friend Bev. I've known Margaret just over three years. Um, and in that time, she has been coming to classes regularly. She is a force of nature. <laughs> But what an inspiration, somebody who's had breast cancer, who suddenly decides that being an old woman, they then want to do a triathlon just because they do. And in fact, she's just been amazing. Unfortunately, we then had a problem with a broken leg, didn't we? Which was yet another hiccup along the way. But not to be defeated, off on, on it again, back to trying to do something to, to keep herself fit and going. And I just think that's amazing. Three weeks after I did the triathlon, thought so I'll take my, I'll start, I'll do next year. So I'll take the bike out and I'll do it in a safe environment. I'll go along the railway track. I've been riding my partner's bike, which was too big for me really. And I fell off and I broke my ankle in two places. I heard it go click, click in slow motion. But it wasn't the broken ankle that upset Margie the most when it came to the venture. They gave me a Zimmer frame. Can you? Can you believe they gave me a Zimmer frame? It sat in that corner there. I, 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 I came home and I sat with it, looking at it for two days, and I thought, thought I'm not having a Zimmer frame. Camel pep. End of week two. I don't know where the time has gone. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. The trouble is when you've got these kind of anxieties creeping in, it's very difficult to shift them. And the weaker I, I make myself feel, the weaker I am physically as well, it's such a weird thing. That was like the world's shallowest hill as well. <laughs> you know? Because, you know, in some ways I'm really proud of some of the things that I've done this week. I'm proud that I've just shown up, you know, for so many sessions. That's six sessions I've done in total now. And, Part of me thinks, yeah, you, you know, you're, you're doing it. It's only two weeks. You can't expect miracles. And I've enjoyed it. You know, I, uh, not enjoy the sessions so much, but certainly afterwards. <sighs> I think part of the problem is, you know, things have been difficult at home. Elsie's not sleeping and she's teething really badly. So she's she's been quite grumpy. Avalon, this, you know, she's five and she's basically five going on 13. She's so mardy. And with work and everything, it's, it's difficult, you know, and you kind of think, oh, have I got the energy to do this? But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, just, yeah. Anyway, you know, the whole point of these video diaries is it's supposed to be quite candid and, you know, this is me, I'm finding it tough. I'm finding it tough, mentally as much as physically. Chris works in an office in the centre of Norwich. And he certainly seems to have a supportive boss, as he was the one that encouraged him to apply for the challenge. Some of the things I've noticed is I've definitely started putting on a bit more muscle in areas. Um, some of my shirts have got a little bit tighter across the shoulders, which is nice. Um, my well, One thing I have noticed, obviously, is my, my trousers have got a little bit looser around the waist, which is good. But my weight has stayed the same. But then, obviously, muscle and fat, muscle coming on, fat coming off, it's, it's going to happen. And... Uh, 
yeah, sort of definitely getting stronger and definitely feeling slightly fitter than I was two weeks ago. And it, it is a big change in just a short, short, short period of time. Stairs, surprisingly a little bit easier. I did say this yesterday, actually, that they, it's first thing in the morning, I'm not that horrible sweaty mess when I get to the top of the stairs anymore. Um, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, yeah, we're not there yet, but a few weeks down the line, hopefully that'll be a little bit easier. Yeah. Nick, um, as a whole, is probably one of the best bosses I've worked for. Um, he's encouraging across all areas, not just in work. Can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with Chris? We're in love. <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever known Chris the way he is and during the, the time that I've known him, I've seen him work hard on his fitness, particularly his biking, and I've seen him actually change shape and his level of energy and his performance has actually gone up. As a father of four, I've seen the whole range of children and I, I know this might sound really funny, but as a man, particularly with small babies, you actually have to be in a really good physical state, particularly to support your partner or your wife. You actually have to put a lot of energy in as well. A lot of sleepless nights, doing that extra bit as well. So you actually do need to be in good physical shape. Uh, yes, we have seen a difference in him. We have four flights of stairs. He is running up and down those a little bit more sprightly now. So yeah, there has been a big difference already. It's the beginning of week three and Chris has received the sad news that his grandfather has passed away. I'm away for a, a few days, so I've had to miss a couple of time, guess, sessions of, of filming. Um, just trying to do my own little circuit here in sunny Troon, Scotland, up on the beach. So basically consisted of trying to run for five minutes. Um, uh, once uh, stopping running, trying to get down and do some burpees and, and some press ups, and then doing another run, and then kept that going for half an hour, except you know, a few weeks ago, I wouldn't even contemplate doing that. While Chris is in Scotland, Gordon and Margie are up early and at the CrossFit box. I can't believe we're up this time. Half past three. Half past three. I've been awake since half past three waiting for this. Makes me feel a bit better. Everybody is looking out for everybody else, yeah. which is really good, yeah. isn't it? And um, you get a nice greeting when you come in. They're, they're all quite friendly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Margie's been amazing. I mean, she's brought a lot of. It. She's certainly helped me through. I think your enthusiasm and your kind of can-do attitude. I, I worry that I've always been a bit of a natural quitter when it comes to exercise. But you're like, no. Let's get through this. We're strong enough to do this. And I think, actually, that's been amazing. He doesn't need help <laughs> because, because he, whatever he does, whatever, whether it be uh, a lot or a little, whatever he does is going to um, improve his health and his weight mm. and mine <laughs> and, and um, his strength. Two, one. Pulse is going about 300 beats per minute. <laughs> Austin and John Chapman are regulars at CrossFit Spitfire Gym and together they form the Lean Machines, the YouTube duo with almost 25 million views on their online fitness videos. It's been four months since started in November so we're still very much learning oh, yeah. the hard way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it feels like we've been in because of the actual environment that we're in, it feels like we've been in forever. You know, it's such a nice community so we've been at home already. This morning was a big workout. Yeah, it was we're, basically... we're not allowed to swear, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically hang on to the bar and just get through it. It was lots of barbell cycling today, shoulder to overhead, lots of cleans, a, a lot of burpees. A lot of burpees, a lot of burpees. It's surprisingly fun. Like obviously you get the rewards of it, you get the big endorphin spike afterwards, but you do see a lot of change. It's 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 very tangible between your progress and what you're doing. Like, you don't, I personally don't work that hard in the gym, but when you're in a class environment, everyone's cheering you on. Um, it's just fun and you just, you do work that much harder, I think. Come on! <laughs> you're doing awesome, keep going. Keep going. Oh, Good job. Gymnast, dim and dismount. Five. Five more. Oh, so five in total. How you doing? You doing all right? Yes, yeah, my heart rate is 
out. But Good. You should have. When you took your shirt well, off. Well, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's my role. I don't work out. I just come in and take my clothes off. It's what? very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even working out. He's got a bottle of water yeah, tipping it over it's, himself it's to like look sweaty. I'm like the Diet Coke man. <laughs> For anyone to be getting into a class at 6.15 in the morning and throwing, throwing weights around like that and doing your push-ups, you've done well. Thank so you. So you're enjoying yeah. it so far? Yes. Oh, I think it's addictive. Yeah. Well, Yes, I that's a, it, a very I good word to use. I think it's going to be addictive because um, at the beginning of the week, I, I went over the weekend. I did Friday, I think. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I went over the weekend and I thought, oh, cool, oh, I'm going again on Monday, oh, lovely. After a week of self-doubt and anxiety, Gordon is back at the gym and trainer Dave was eager to catch up with him. Well done. Oh, thank you. Good effort. That's awesome. Yeah. How'd you feel? That was hard. That yeah. was the most difficult one I've done. Yeah. I think it was the combination of cardio and weights. Because I've done the, sure. did the cardio last week. There wasn't many weights. Yeah. Did the weights on Monday, which was great. I loved, but there wasn't any cardio. Yeah. And oh, this is a killer. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, it's quite a spicy one today. I must admit, but yeah. it's just a one long workout, which has got all the yeah. elements in there. So yeah, the strength and conditioning is. is but you're moving really well as well. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's kind of a mental challenge a lot of the time with this as well. Yeah. I can always understand how it feels. I've been there myself, and I understand it. But it's yeah. just trying to keep <laughs> keep going at a steady, smooth pace. But you did fantastically well. Thank so. you. Thank Very you. proud of you there. Oh, no, that's great. <laughs> You're always pushing yourself, and you see everyone else pushing yourselves, and it makes you want to push yourself yeah, too. Absolutely. So Brilliant. I did struggle, but you know, it's a good struggle. You know, it feels positive. So. Yeah, it feels productive. Uh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. It feels great when you finish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I thought I'd film this video diary because I um, I just feel shattered. I feel absolutely exhausted, and uh, and yeah. Thanks for that, Elsie. That was, that was kind. I didn't think that I would ever be able to um, still do these things. I, I can't explain the feelings I've been having. To be fair, it's just like yesterday after the exercise, the inside of my elbows were sore. Never had that. I just had this moment where I was like. I got it in me, I don't know if I can actually do it. That's nice, so that's better than pulling daddy's glasses on. I think I walk 10 years younger. Definitely feel stronger. Uh, and I love swinging the kettlebell. Oh, I was good at that. And I'm gonna keep trying every day to make sure that I'm still here. I'm still here when, you're, when you've got an annoying child um, that pulls your glasses off. And now I've just gotta keep it going for the sake of my family and my kids. Still to come. My wife has decided to go into labour early. taken three people from Norfolk who've never tried CrossFit before and put them through the physical challenge of their lifetime. Ouch. I just want to be the best I can be. <sighs> it is very different. Not good. Not good. <laughs> me. That was hideous. Um, we are about four days away from the challenge and my wife has decided to go into labour early. So, um, up late tonight, um, supposed to be filming down at the box tomorrow. Um, she's looking at me as if to say, what on earth are you doing doing this now? But I thought, hey, I'll let everybody else know as well. Um, yeah, uh, I'll, obviously I'll keep you updated over the next few days let you know how things are getting on but um, hopefully I'll still be able to go to the gym tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the fourth and final week of the CrossFit challenge the candidates are about to push themselves to the extreme with their toughest workout yet tonight's uh, it's, uh, CrossFit's a bit far as a strongman day so we'll be doing things like tire flips uh, truck pulls um, deadlifts with extra large grips, things that you wouldn't necessarily see on day, every sort of day kind of thing.
Yeah, my wife is currently in labour. Um, I've had about three hours sleep. She went into labour midday-ish yesterday. Um, we're ha we're ha we were having a planned C-section next week, so she's actually early. And um, we're not at the stage where they're ready to start the emergency C-section. So we've got to play it out for, for a little while. So I'm no more than two feet away from my phone, waiting for a phone call, just in case I have to run away, basically. Unfortunately for Chris, the phone didn't ring. So instead he's flipping four to 600 pound tires and pulling the Spitfire truck. Done one round, not so much looking forward to the second one, but bring it on. It's, um, it's a big change in myself, I know that for sure. If you'd asked me to do that that first week, I, w I would have looked at that and probably just walked off. Whenever I've been in and I've seen them, they've always been there, right next to everybody else, sweating their little socks off. Um, with a great attitude as well. They've always got a smile on their faces. They always think, oh God, that's going to be really, really hard. They go ahead and they do it, and they kick it down the door every single time. Yeah, I do feel proud of myself. I, um, I feel prouder when I've kept this going for another couple of months after this is all finished. Um, and I think that's the key. After all this is done, just to keep going and keep coming back. And then, yeah, my goals are the sky's the limit, really. Everyone does tend to smile at the end of it. We all like to have a good workout to feel that we've accomplished something. So, again, having something a bit different turn up and being able to conquer that gives everyone a good bit of a buzz. It's very, very different to anything we've done up to now. It was good fun. Teamwork, helping each other, and just lifting stuff that you would normally just avoid every yeah. day, really. Yeah, I love the teamwork element. That no, was great, no, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was a real, uh, a real challenge. Steaming I'm up. steaming up. <laughs> they wouldn't have managed without me. Margie no. is freakishly strong, I have she to say. Yeah. We, 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 we'll, we'll let Margie have a rest on the tyres. And we were struggling with that, yeah. weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but no, I love this, because this is the sort of thing you see on TV. And this is the sort of thing that I always thought other people do. Other people lift tyres. Other people lift, you know, 100 kilograms. And I weigh 100 kilograms, let alone lift it. Uh, other people pull along trucks. And, and when you actually get out there and you do it yourself, that, that's an incredible feeling, actually. Yeah. I think I've got more of a sense of satisfaction out of this class yes. in terms of just what I am capable of now that I never would have been before. One, two, three, way! <laughs>
I found out that I can just keep going. Don't stop, don't give in. I think is the, you know, where I have gone wrong in the past, I've, I've sort of given in. For me, I think I'm, I'm quite competitive in nature. Um, and seeing people around me doing more than me really winds me up and drives me to do a bit more. So that has been the hardest part for me. My legs on that last run were like jelly, but it's just about pushing through it, I guess. I believed I could do everything mm. and anything. When mm. I see anybody doing anything, I think I can do that. Mug has been amazing. Yeah. You know, just the other day, the teamwork exercises we had to do together, yep. yeah. and she was doing just as much as us. I think she thought that she was, we were helping her, but we really weren't. No, you're incredible. You're one of the strongest people I know, Margie, actually, to be yeah. doing this. I think, I think it's incredible. Yeah, and it's a real inspiration. I think we're a great team, actually. A few weeks later, the candidates caught up over a coffee at the Norwich Playhouse. Hey, she is. To chat about how they found the process. Don't hog the hugs. And you. Bring it in. <laughs> we'll grab a seat. Let's go. I don't know about that. Hang on, it's a bit tight. There we go. First two weeks was killer. Yeah, first yeah. two weeks were definitely the hardest. Yeah. Yeah, because it was also new. I mean, using mm. muscles that we'd never used before. Yeah. Uh, using bits of yeah, mental muscles that never used before. And I think actually the mental side was probably yes. harder it's, than the physical it side. It was. It was exactly. getting the motivation yes. to get up and be punished yet yeah. again. I think for the first couple of weeks I felt like I was, if I didn't go, I was letting you guys down and everybody, you know, my family down for not going down. And then after that, it was that as well as feeling like I've let myself down. Yeah. And I just suddenly got really addicted, started going five, six times a week. Yeah. No, I've lost 16 pounds now. And I think oh, that's, that's um, amazing. That's amazing. Shall we sit on him? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel incredibly, but I have been, I've, I think that's, I think it's partly crossbow, partly because I have completely cut sugar out, which was yeah. my, that was the thing that was, that was killing me basically. Your weakness, and I yeah. Couldn't, I couldn't, I mm. couldn't get, get out of that, that kind of, that sugar habit. And um, mm. I think the crossfit gave me the strength to say, I'm not going to touch sugar. Mm. And we're all doing it. I'm doing it for my grandchildren. Yeah. Mm. Or my grandchildren, so that I can still get out there and climb trees yeah. and, and walk with them and, and be fit for them. Mm. I don't want, I'm not ready to be a granny knitting yeah. or mm. whatever. Well, we do. But, uh, of yeah. Other things too. <laughs> we, yeah. do, we do all those sort of things as well. Here he is. Hey, Dave's here. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> here he is. Hey, man. How are you? Oh, here, we go. here we go again. I've got to stand up and see it. I love these hugs. These are awesome. Here we go. Oh, Giz. Can't forget. You've got to have the backpack when you're hugging a man as well. The time in this one. I've found the whole five week as a, as a kind of experiment fascinating and fantastic as well. You guys have progressed both physically and also I think mentally as well. I think you've yeah. gained confidence, um, certainly from you know, whether being anxious initially or anything like that. And I think the results speak for themselves as well. Mm. With weight loss, for example, yeah. your strength increase as well and capability. Yeah. So for example, you know, being able to run, skip, anything yeah. like that. It's just the basics like that, which is fantastic and mm. so rewarding from my point of view. And, and, and the mental health as well. I mean, the anxiety, like you mentioned, it's, uh, it's only now looking back even to Two three months ago, realising how bad it was uh, and how bad, how much of a rut I'd kind of dug for myself. And it's only now being able to look back that I realised that you know I, I can kind of see where it would have gone if I hadn't done this. And it's quite scary actually how how much it was deteriorating. But it's easy to dig ruts, isn't it? It's very it's easy. easy. And once you're in one, it's easy to dig it even deeper. Definitely. It is, and that works the other way as well. If you can then establish your routine yeah. of positivity yes. yeah. and yes. keep in that that groove, shall we say, then it only ever gets better. Definitely. Which is great. Because it's a positive cycle, isn't it? And that is a negative cycle. Once you're in a negative cycle, it just gets worse and worse and worse, and you lose the motivation to do anything about it. The change, not just in my physical self, but mental work, everything, it's just, yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. I'd encourage anyone, anyone to go down and give it a shot. Yeah. 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 You do realise that if you if you decide not to come, I'm going to come knock on your door, <laughs> grab you, and bring you back Over into the, the gym. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to fire and carry you in, throw you in and carry on. So you, you've got no choice now. So. <laughs> Even though that will send Margie round. So. Oh, you don't want that. That's, that's, that's the next one. <laughs>
little wrong You can go ahead and bring it on Cause if you knock knock me over I will get back up again I can't believe I just did that on camera